Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are gonna be shooting with the Benjamin Marauder .177 caliber. This is a Gen 1, so it is the first model it came out. Um, I am gonna be doing a little bit of comparison between the 12 and a, and a half grain NSA slugs versus Crossman pellets. We are gonna be looking at the 10 and a half grain Crossman domes Ultramag. And we will also be looking into the eight and a half grain uh, Crossman hollow point pellets. We are gonna be doing a five shot group out to 50 yards. And I can tell you guys that this gun is pretty accurate. Um, so there is a little bit of breeze, not too, the wind has uh, calmed down. Um, works. I will be showing you guys a little bit of velocity so you guys can see the energy I am putting out. I do have this, the Benjamin Marauder tuned to about uh, 12 to 13 foot pounds in 0.177 caliber. So that is going to be pretty cool. Um, it is doing a little bit more energy with the pellets. Um, I'm not exactly sure of the energy it's pushing, but it's gripping really good. So yeah, let me show you the guns and let's get shooting. All right, guys. So I thought maybe you guys would want to see some of the the desert, how everything has grown now. Um, so now you can't really see the whistle pigs since everything has grown. As you guys can see, this here is pretty tall. You can see a little bit of the breeze moving the whatever these things are called. So yeah, let me show you around first and then we will start shooting. So my target is gonna be that one up there. That is 50 yards from here. Um, I'll be giving you guys a closer look to it. So here I got my mess. Got the chronograph, I got the Benjamin Marauder with the Aztec on here. I really like this scope, it's really nice. The reticle is freaking awesome. And I just picked up these um, sports match rings, the adjustable, um, just to help the scope not get messed up over the longer period. And also to be able to fit this gun, I mean, the scope on this gun. So, yeah. That is pretty cool. So here I have some of the slugs, the 12 and a half grain NSA slugs. You can see they're little baby slugs. Got the um, 10 grain and a half Ultra Mag. And then here I have some of the hollow points as well. These are about seven to eight grains. So yeah. Um, Let's shoot some pellets and some slugs out to 50 yards. Um, let me go show you the target first. And I am going to be shooting at the um, shots I have taken. I, I'm going to be using them as my point of aim. Um, but yeah, let's, let's go down range and look at the target. So this will be my target. These dots are going to be my point of aim. So one, two, and three. Like I said, I am going to be shooting three different projectiles um, and yeah it's really nice the sun is going down the temperature has dropped to about 65 maybe maybe 70 uh, the wind has stopped um, there's a little bit of breeze but not really enough to matter right now would be a perfect time to be shooting 100 yards with the slugs and the pellets to see what they could do but I already have the target at 50 yards, so that's what we're going to be doing now. I do have the scope cam as well, but I don't think my phone is going to like the reticle on. Alright guys, so here's what I've been working on. Uh, so I got a spotting scope. I did add some little bit of tape on here, and then I made this myself. Hopefully you guys can see it. It is PVC pipe um, with glue on there. Basically what I'm going to be doing is putting this on here and you guys are going to be able to watch through the um, spotting scope. So let me put it together. I do have everything ready to go now. I got All right guys, I got it to work now. Uh, we are going to start with the um, Crossman hollow point seven seven eight to eight grains so yeah let's start here we are at 50 yards
Okay, we're gonna be continuing now with the 10 grain Crossman domes. So 10 grain Crossman domes. Okay, that wasn't very impressive. Um, now let's shoot the 12 and a half grain NSA slugs. Really, really impressive guys. NSA 20, NSA 12 and a half grains at a really slow velocity. And we got a flyer, huh? All right, so as you can see, these are the pellets we shot and the 12 and a half grain NSA slug. So let's go look at the groups. Uh, I didn't really get any chronograph velocity readings, uh, but yeah, I, I know them pretty well. So with the 12 and a half grain NSA slugs, we are getting about uh, 660 to 880, I mean to 680. And with the 10 grains, we are getting about 830 feet per second. And maybe with the 8 grains, we might be getting around 880, 860. So that is some velocity readings for you guys. Um, so I honestly think the 12 and a half grains won this battle. But what do you guys think? So that is a five shot group right there that is another five shot group with the crossman domes 10 grains and that is a five or six shot group with the crossman hollow point pellets so i do think the slug shot the best right now we don't really have much win so it would be a good time to go to 100 yards and shoot so i think i still have enough time to actually shoot 100 yards see how the pellets and slugs do um, there isn't really no win at all which is great so yeah let's go to 100 yards shoot hopefully this time i do get some velocity reading so yeah hey guys i lied to you so basically what i'm going to be doing is right now i'm going to be shooting the 12 and a half grain nsa slugs um, so basically at 100 yards i don't want the groups to be kind of getting mixed uh, all over so i am only going to be shooting one pellet at a time or a slug at a time we are going to be doing a five shot group with all three of them. Hopefully I have enough time. So yeah, let's continue with the 12 and a half grain slugs. I'll try to get you guys some velocity because I'm not promising anything, but let's try it too. All right guys, here we go. 12 and a half grain slugs out to 100 yards. Here we go. Can you guys believe that? 100 yards, 0.177 slugs, sub 12 foot pounds. Okay guys, I pulled the last shot, so let me take one more. Um, like I said, I did pull the last shot. So let's see. This trigger is really sensitive, I'm not gonna lie. All right, here we go. All right, guys, what do you guys think? You guys want to go down range and take a look at the group? Um, you guys are still on the spotting scope. I need to take you guys off. All right, guys, so let's go down range, take a look at the groups. I think it's going to be about a two inch group. Um, you know, like I did say, I did kind of uh, pulled one of the shots, which was the fifth shot. Um, the second, the sixth shot, I did kind of, I, I just kind of like maybe like missed or something. But yeah, the fifth shot, I did kind of pull the tr trigger. It was a little bit sensitive. Um, yeah, let's see what kind of group it is. Like I said, I think it might be a two inch group. If it's anything under that, it's going to be pretty cool. It is what it is. We'll be shooting some of the pellets as well. So yeah. All right. 
So I'm not going to be counting the, the fifth shot I took. I will only be, be counting the other two, I mean the other five. So here is the group. That is about one inch. So let's see. About two inch, two inches. Like I said, I'm not going to be counting this one here. So two inch group. And that would be about an inch. Definitely about an inch. So yeah, pretty impressive. Let me paint this and then we continue with the pellets. So just so you guys know, I did have to um, do a holdover for 14 MOA, just so you know, um, on the scope. I think I have the 12 and a half grain NSA Slux zero at 25 yards I believe because it is 12 foot pounds so yeah let's continue okay guys the group is not really impressive it is shooting basically everywhere so we're going to stop it from here um, this is going to be it for today's video I hope you guys did like it uh, the 12 and a half grains did perform really well in my opinion I am going to be making more videos with them at 12 foot pounds or 13 foot pounds so yeah I will see you until next time. Peace.